Hey everyone, this video is about how to add shadow in Canva, drop shadow or other different kinds of shadows. Now, there are different kinds of Canva elements, as you know, so images, text, graphics, and we will explore how to add shadow for all of these elements one by one. Let's start with images. Uh, so how do we add shadow to images in Canva? It's very, very simple because no matter which element it is in Canva, you can add shadow very easily with the click of a button and you can also customize it. So to add shadow to images, you click on the image, then you go to edit photo and you go to shadows. And then you see there are different options here, but the easiest one is the drop shadow, of course. You can customize the blur amount, the size of the shadow, the angle, the distance, all of the elements, all of the options to see exactly the kind of effect you want. You can also change the color and the intensity. So that's how simple it is to add a shadow to an image in Canva. There are, of course, different kinds of shadows that you can also choose, like the outline, glow, curved, page lift. So just see which one works for you. Of course, not every kind of shadow will work for all images. The easiest one is, of course, a drop shadow. But yeah, again, it depends on the exact need you have for your element of image. All right. Next one is how to add shadows to graphics. Now, we will explore two kinds of graphics. As you know, Canva has um, <clears throat> a few different kinds of graphics. So one is where it's a complete image, where you, which you can't uh, change the colors of. So for example, well, this one you still can. Let's see this one. You cannot change the colors. It's a complete image. And then you have another one, another type, which is this, which is, for example, uh, almost like a vector, not really, where you can also change the colors. So this one you can't change colors, this one you can change color. The good thing is, in either of these graphics, when you do edit photo, and it's the same way as in images, you click on shadows, and it gives you a shadow exactly to the, you know, the shape of your image. So it doesn't make it in a square, for example. It cut, it's like a cutout and it gives you an, a shadow with the exact, sorry, I don't know why it keeps going off, with the exact shape of the image. And even if it's an image, a graphic that you cannot edit and you cannot, uh, it's almost like a square image, it's actually not because when you apply the shadow, and here we go drop, it also takes the image, just gonna move this here, So it's not that the shadow is coming in a rectangle. It's still taking the shape of the graphic. But in an image, it will take the shape of your, if it will take a square or rectangle or whatever the shape of your image is. All right, so that's how you add shadow to images and to graphics in Canva. The third element is text. How do you add shadow to text? The good news is that you can add again a shadow with the click of a button, but it's not the same option as for images and graphics. So here you go. And to add a shadow, I would recommend taking a thicker font like this one. And uh, then you get, you know, a clearer kind of shadow and then you click, click on effects and then you click on shadow. This is your option. You can also change the color. You can change the offset, which is how far away the shadow is from the text direction. You can blur it if you want. You can change the color and that's how you add shadow. There is another option called lift. Hmm. So it's kind of like a big blur in the background, which tries to give the text a 3D kind of effect. But that's not really very customizable because you only have the intensity that you can change. I would recommend to go with the shadow option here and then change the preferences and customize it the way you want. So there you go. That's how you add shadow in Canva to images, to graphics, and to text. Thanks for watching.